What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another episode of Play to Win. A couple of things to say straight off the bat. Apologies that there's no graphic on the bottom today with the wins and losses and stuff, but currently before this episode I was 36 wins and no losses on Play to Win and 8 wins and 1 loss, no sorry, 9 wins and 1 loss on my subscriber showdown. And um, also apologies if the audio is a bit crap today. I left my snowball mic at work so I'm using the inbuilt microphone on my computer to record this audio. A um, couple of things to discuss guys, yesterday I did a YouTube live stream with uh, my man El De Niro 90 and uh, we played a couple of games and it was absolutely tragic but um, I'm just figuring out how the hell to use the YouTube live stream thingy my bob. Uh, two things I need to ask of anybody that potentially knows how to fix this or what's going on or whatever. Uh, number one, um, I can only live stream in 360p. I, d I don't know why, like my internet connection is very, very good. And uh, I found it quite weird that it would only go to 360p. I don't know if the uh, the casting device thing software that YouTube uses automatically detects what you should have because I was unable to change it anywhere I looked. Uh, but I would love to be able to change that to, you know, even 480 would be better because the video yesterday uh, it's not good to watch unless you watch it on a real small screen. Uh, if you put it to full screen, it's, it's not good and it's not good enough. And you guys know I put it HD in every video. Uh, so I wasn't too pleased with that. Uh, the other thing I want to know is if I do like live commentaries for Sub Showdown or um, Ruin a Randomer, uh, I can do the uh, the game as a live stream. So I can play a couple of games as live stream and then upload it the next day as the actual video. However, I would need to make sure that I can do the live stream and then make the video go public at like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. Now, if I do that, do you happen to know if when I make it public, it goes public from the time that I did the live stream or goes public from the time that I made it public? Because if it goes public from the time I publish it, uh, then we're all good, you know? But if it goes public from the time I started the live stream, then it won't be very interesting because you guys will never get to see them because they'll be published like at midnight. So when you wake up the next day, uh, if you didn't catch the live stream, you know, you'll miss out on the video because it'll be so far down your sub box that you won't really see that I have the video there. Um, and uh, yeah, so if, if anyone does happen to know the answer to those questions, please leave it in the comment section. Um, and just in general, I had a lot of fun with the live stream. Uh, I will live stream a lot more with the YouTube live streamer um, I don't really like Twitch too much. They're... Twitch has issues with lag and stuff like that where it's not actually me um, and it's, you know, it's nothing to do with my internet connection, but they, like, Twitch are growing, like, super, super quick. They don't realize how quick they're growing themselves and they struggle sometimes if they get too many people on their servers, like, some videos lag and stuff. And um, just in general, it's much easier for me to do YouTube because it's just one program to do live stream on YouTube, whereas I have to open five different programs to live stream on Twitch, um, which is a little bit outrageous. Um, got the, I think this is the second or the third game. Um, whichever, I think I had one game in this video. It might have been the next game where I struggled to win the game, but uh, I do keep the record going here. I do go from. 36 and 0 to 40 and 0. Obviously, otherwise this video would not be uh, around in storage there with an epic finish. But today, guys, we had um, Derek Chisora against David Hay boxing. David Hay knocked Chisora out in the fifth round with like a couple seconds left to go, and I thought it was a pretty good fight. David Hay definitely showed his worth. I'm a massive, massive Hay fight fan, and uh, I wasn't a big fan of Chisora before this fight. I mean, I did want him to beat uh, Klitschko uh, simply because he's English, but. Uh, I do think he showed like a massive lack of respect to to the Klitschko brothers during their their little um, you know their their little match their well their their match their fight uh, and for that like I, I just don't really regard that too highly from a boxer but after Hay knocked Jasor out today they shook hands you know they made good publicly and I thought that was a great thing for the sport I don't think Jasor is necessarily going to get his license back from the BBBC but. Um, it was great to see two men that could genuinely settle their differences from a fight, you know, like they had a fight, one lost, the other one, and that that's it, you know, they put their differences aside because I know many, many people would still be bitter and, you know, David Hay as a winner, um, I thought would have been a lot more bitter about winning. I thought he would have gone out, gone out and said, you know, I told, it, I told you I've knocked Trisora out um, and so on and so forth. Um, 
This is the game I actually nearly lost, guys. 78th minute there, the guy scored with Mikkeli, and I was worried, like, honestly, I thought this was it. I thought this was game over because he was all over me, like, the most of the game. And I got really, really lucky penalty here in, like, the 84th or something minute. Um, but, yeah, so it was really good to see that that fight, the end of the fight happened where there was no animosity and both, both fighters showed the utmost respect for each other. I thought that was awesome. Um... And that can only mean good things for David Hay as well because he'll definitely get to fly, fly? Jesus Christ. He'll definitely get to fight uh, Klitschko now for um, whichever title it is. I think it's a WBC title. Um, and it also means that he is out of retirement, which I think is awesome because it, when he trained, um, when he said he was going to retire in or like on his 30th birthday and he wouldn't fight after I was a bit disappointed because he's been the best British heavyweight for a long long time you know like you look at the people that we've had like Audley Harrison come on man and now we've got what Tyson Fury Jesus Christ like he's not a world-class heavyweight he, if, he, if he wins a world title it will be because the rest of the uh, the rest of the division is so bad that was the game there guys anyway that I nearly lost um, I'm, it's currently like midnight, so I'm looking forward to the Amir Khan fight tonight as well. I'll do a commentary on that tomorrow, give my thoughts about that sort of fight. I hope Khan wins. I'm a massive, massive Khan fight fan. Uh, but this is the end, guys, so if you could hit that like button, it would be absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for watching, as per usual, and I will see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. It's not fucking jizz. It's clearly jizz. It's not fucking jizz.